So what we're going to do next is experiment with a type of UV unwrapping that ZBrush has inside of UV Master called Attract from Ambient Occlusion. The definition of ambient occlusion is that it is a technique to determine how exposed each point in the scene is based on the ambient lighting. That's why it's called ambient occlusion. So for example, since I have my shade skin number four material, if I hide polygroup and I move my light right here, you will notice that there are certain areas of our mesh in light and other areas which are hidden and covered with our shadows. So if we go back to our clone, we can enable attract from ambient occlusion by selecting the enable control painting. And now you will notice that the attract from ambient occlusion button is available. So when I click on it, notice that our mesh now has blue, which is the color of attract, right, in certain areas. These areas right here are now determined based on where the light hits and where the light creates shadows. A better example to show you what the ambient occlusion does is using an entire mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring our dog Z tool, which is found inside of your light box under tools, and I'm going to click on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing that we did for the demo head. All right, I'm going to reset my UV master by disabling enable control painting. And with this new mesh right here, I'm going to go to work on clone create a clone. Here's our clone. And we know it's the clone because the name has been changed by adding the letter CL underscore in front, CL standing for clone. And now, as soon as I enable control painting and engage the attract from ambient occlusion button, notice what ZBrush has done. It has painted blue. And remember, blue is attract for ZBrush in the areas where the shadows would be. So if the camera is the light, notice that a lot of the blue is in the shadows of our character. If I move my character in a three quarter view and I click on unwrap and go to flatten, you will see where ZBrush put in our cuts. All right. Let me go back to unflatten and I can check my seams again by selecting check seams. So this is how we create our UV cuts based on our ambient occlusion.